Hey guys, it's John. Welcome back to my playthrough of Scorn. This is part two. It's been a couple days since the first part, but you know what? I posted the Dead Space remake in the meantime, so y'all been eating good. I don't want to hear about it. Uh, we are entering a new area. And we're still going to deal with this freaking parasite, dude. Great. Oh, I, I suffered damage from that. Okay. There's a little moonster there. Oh, he's taking a little journey across the thing. You could do it. I don't know why I'm so encouraging to those things after they try to kill me over and over. But I guess that's just me. I'm an encouraging guy. A good guy. A very good guy. There's a part of Curb Your Enthusiasm where, uh, I don't know why I said it weird just now. We're Larry David. Um. I love it. It's like one of my favorite parts of Curb Your Enthusiasm. Larry David is like walking away from someone that thinks he's a jerk. He's like, I'm not a bad guy. I'm a good guy. And then he, he keeps walking away and he turns around. He's like, a very good guy. And he turns around again. He's like, a very, very good guy. It's just exactly my sense of humor, I guess. Uh-oh. So that's what I am. I'm a good guy. See, I could, I could brain this thing right now, but I'm not going to. That's how good of a guy I am. And I've got tons of prejudice against these things from how often they've attacked me in the past. But I'm pushing it down. I'm letting it go. <sighs> Deep breaths. Serenity now. That's me. Namaste. What's this? Oh, can't, uh, can't interact? If I can't interact with that, then I'm not really sure what to do considering the game, the game's very linear. Now, when I walked on this, it did shift, but I don't... I don't think there's any significance to that. I think it's just an event that happens. See, now, this is where I started, right here. Right? Oh, I didn't go over here. Oh, nice. I'll take this. Oh, look at all that ammo. Hell yeah. Okay, so you only get one, right? Nice. Okay, so we can shoot a lot of stuff. They gave us a lot of ammo just then. I'm wondering if I'm supposed to... Oh, look. Yeah, you're not supposed to shoot that. Never mind. Oh! You just had to switch the gun. I forgot. Honestly, I forgot I even still had this. See, look. I thought it was just a permanent upgrade. Like, now you have the gun. But no, if you press 1, then you swap out for this thing. Okay. Well, mystery solved then. Let's go this way. Oh, holy shit! Don't even... Don't make me do it. Don't make me do it. How many shots was that? That was a lot, right? Like five? Was that like five shots? That's like a, that creature was like a bowl, man. So did it open? Oh, it opened something over here. Oh, okay, here we go. It just looked exactly the same, so I wasn't sure. Nice 
nice dude. Okay. I guess we'll... We'll find nothing over here. So, okay, there's an elevator right here. What do you guys do all day? This? Okay. Let's interact with this. Oh, I thought it wasn't working for a second. I guess I'm just impatient. Ooh. No, we only got two. We need three. Is it this? Oh. What does this do? Nice. Looks like we upset one of the creatures down there, though. Look, he's waiting to ambush us. Like, it's time for me to get my revenge. Let's give him a little push. I'm gonna poke him. I poke you. Actually, we're just gonna run through. <laughs> That's even better. Okay, um... Guess we go this way now. Oh, it's one of these things again. Oops. Let's get this. Oh, here we go. Give me my upgrade. Nice. Okay, now we gotta go all the way back, though. Oh. Uh. I just saw. Okay, how, how nice of you to wait for me. If that's as fast as you can go, I don't have anything to worry about. <laughs> just wanna throw that out there. Yeah, let's go. Interesting, no puzzles in that part. Pretty much at all. More health? Ooh, we got four that time. Nice. Oh, actually, we don't need to use it here. Okay. Uh, we gotta get this thing out of us. Extraction, we need a doctor. At least it didn't stab us again, huh? Oh. Whoa, okay. Um. I guess I'll go out this way. Thank you. Oh, no. Ow. Boom! Actually, I'm gonna I'm gonna go poke this thing. Yeah, you wanna get poked? You wanna get poked? Oh, you, oh, of course you hide among the refuse. Typical. There we go. I was gonna poke it like that. Oh, oh gosh. Okay, okay. Come on, come on over. Oh, yeah. Don't even need to fight him. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'll keep going this way, actually. Silly. 
Now, I did play a demo for Scorn like f literally five years ago. And in it, they not only had this gun, but they also had like a shotgun that was really cool. I'm wondering if we'll get that at some point. Oh, I got an achievement. At the lowermost point is what it says. <laughs> Come on. Damn, you're late on that. Pokey. Okay. You can only do two pokes. Go, 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 go. Oh, you little shit. There we go. Okay. Oh my gosh. Can I stealth? Ah, not really. What about this? What's this? Oh, more ammo. Hell yeah. Thank you. Let's, see, let's pop it back and do a little reload. Okay, so now that we got more ammo. Now what? I'm guessing we just go back the way we came. Oh my god. Oh, you little. You can only do two pokes. Just trying to save ammo. Oh my god. Okay. Yeah, don't save ammo. Just shoot them. I've learned my lesson. No, 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 no. Don't, don't go around the corner. Come face the consequences of your actions. Okay, so we came from there, right? So we go this way. I can't believe that thing avoided the consequences of his actions like that. I Oh, what? Oh, it's, it's the pokey thing. Damn, 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 damn. Okay. There we go. It's interesting how there's, there's more combat as the game goes along. Like at first, at first, there's a lot of walking and puzzles. Oh my God. Whoa. Okay, I'm gonna need to take a look at this thing. Can I go up here? What? Okay. What am I, what am I using? Sorry, I didn't know that it would do that. Oh. Sorry, I... I apologize. Oh my god. Yeah. I don't think so. Okay. The hell is that thing? It's awesome. Okay, did I move it out of the way though? Oh, no way. 
Jeez. Oh. What? Okay, well, I want to do that. <laughs> How do I get to that? Obstructed by rib cages. Okay, so that's wow, that's inside of you. Um, hmm. Nope, I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. I said that, but yeah, I hate you. Oh, fuck. Ow. I was swapping. Oh, God. Whew. There's so many of them. All right. We got to find... That little panel that we moved up here. Oh, here we go. We need four for this one. Okay, so we won't do that yet until we can get the upgrade. Oh, 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 oh. Hell yes. Only three? Holding out on me. Can you, can you, can you hit through that? Can you hit through that? That's it, right? Is that the thing? No? Hmm, okay, we gotta figure out some way to get over there though. Oh, oh. Oh no, am I blowing up another boob? Oh no. What if we just exit for now? Maybe there's a way to, cause, cause remember in the first chapter, there were two different ways that you could do it. You could either kill the guy or you could rescue him, right? Like I wonder if there is a similar decision that you can make here or if it's just, it could just be linear too. I don't know. Yes, chat, we did leave him there to die but we did rescue him from the little eggshell thing that he was in up on the wall so i would still call it a rescue we don't need to be like oh was it technically a rescue though uh usually but the dictionary definition of rescue reads as follows it was still a rescue okay <laughs> I'm not so sure that we rescued him. I don't know if I would use that word. Technically. Okay, I haven't been down here. This is probably the most HR Giger looking part of the game. But are we okay? Oh look, it even goes down further. Okay, there's something over there. Maybe we can get to it on this side. Oh, it's blocked, okay. Let's go, let's go through the middle. Uh... Oh, here we go, this is it. Hey, wait a second, it's a maze. Huh? What? Oh wait, do I have to get... Oh, there's more of them down there. Oh, so we're unable to do the puzzle yet. That's... What's happening? Okay. So we can't actually do it yet. Maybe I should go explode that thing right here. 
I'm really sorry. I'm sorry. Don't look at me like that. You make me feel bad. I don't want to do it. I have to. Okay. Ow. Oh my god. Hmm. Oh, stop draining. Look, just look at me. I'm sorry. How do I get to where it was? Oh, ammo. Ooh, there's some big ones too. Ooh, big ammo. Fully stocked up. New gun. Hell yeah. So that's the big one. That's a small one. And then here's the uh, push pokey gun. I'm gonna bring this one out. This is cool. This is a cool looking one. Um, this is another door with four on it. Hmm. Eventually we'll get, okay. Oh, it took two shots. It takes five shots with the pistol. It takes two with a shotgun. Hell yeah. Very exciting. Oh. Fuck. Oh my god. Bruh. I'm gonna shotgun those things last nah, next time. Last time. No, next time I'm gonna shotgun those things. That was I didn't realize there were so many of them. Up up up. Come on, come on, come on, come on. I can't wait to kill these things. I can't wait to kill them. I can't wait to What? Oh I did! I didn't! I didn't reload! No! <laughs> oh, okay. Nice. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, we got him! Okay. Swap it out. Wow, there's so many places to go. So much to do, so much to see. Oh, look. I think this is like the big mama. Cause look, look at what's on its back. It's uh, young, I believe. Scorn. What's this? <gasps> do I get it? Do I get it? Yes, 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 yes. Upgrade me. Instant serotonin. Nice, bro. Don't come up here. Ain't nobody up here. Don't even think about it. Keep going straight. Or... I could go back, yeah. Just don't come up here. Nothing for you up here. Uh-oh. Let's use it. 
You want to come with me? Okay. Boop. Oh. Oh, it's just the other side of that door. Oops. Okay. Oh, fuck. Um, okay, we gotta find all those doors. So there's one right there. Um, now if I remember correctly, there's one... Wait. I don't think it's on this... Oh, it's on the other side. It's on the other side. There's one. This. Open this up, please. Cool. I was about to say, don't go back. This is where I go? Right here? Oh. Okay, seems like it. Yeah. There's kind of no point in killing that thing, huh? Because there's nothing over here. I just killed them for the fun of it. Okay, this is what we exploded earlier. What you got your hand up there for? Okay, so let's pop this one up. Yeah. Okay, so we gotta get one more, it looks like. One more. Um, and that's this one right here. Um, now you'd think, if this was real, you would obviously just step on around it and get to this side. But since it's video game, we can't do that. Here we go. This is the one that I was looking for. This is the other door. I think this will take us to the the next uh, cocoon that we need to... Or cocoon. I don't know. They look kind of like cocoons. This will take us to the next thing that we need to do. Uh, yeah, right here. Okay. Oh. Just in case we get ambushed again. Maybe not. Oh no. Ow! Oh. Oh no. Get me out of here, bro. <laughs> oh no! I think I wasn't supposed to do that. Hang on, I'm, I'm stuck. Uh-oh. There we go, yeah. Just let it happen. Yeah, okay, so note to self, don't try to do that. I think it's the first, like, bug I've ever seen. And it, I mean, I was kind of being a little shit about it, so. Okay, there's gotta be something this way. So, may we blow up something over here oh or we keep going up yeah top floor uh, she, she's like oh here you are i'm watching you wazowski always watching no. I'm not gonna let you... He still hit me. Unbelievable. Okay, I'm really sorry to do this to you. Uh, but we're gonna blow this up. No, don't look at me. <laughs> Every time I do it, it comes over and it looks at me. Hey, why are you doing that to me? That doesn't feel good, you know? How would you like it if... 
How would you like it if I did that to you? Listen, this is the cold, unforgiving world of scorn that you're in right now. You know where you are? The cold, unforgiving world of scorn, that's right. Bring the shotgun back out. <sighs> Don't do this to me. Okay. Oh, what? Bro, you guys. Ow. Let's try to get around. Let's try to get around. Try to get around. Getting in my cardio. To quote Neil from Resident Evil Revelations 2, uh, gym membership. I think that's still one of the most cringe lines in any Resident Evil game I've played. There's this character named, was his name Neil? I think it was. And there's one part where he's like running around and one of the other characters remarks that he's like a fast runner or something like that. And he's like, gym membership. And I'm like, dude, that doesn't mean anything. Have you seen how many slow people go to the gym? Okay, yeah, I didn't really appreciate that. Okay, here we go, this is it. It doesn't mean that you're fast if you go to the gym. I mean, I think that's what it was. Am I misremembering what he said? I want, I want to know who was the guy who had to model this thing. Because surely they were just like, come on, no one's even going to look in there. And there was somebody on the team that was like, no! Every detail must be perfect! And they're like, fine, I'll put a fleshy little thing in the middle of the of this thing. And of course, you know, aside from me, maybe, everybody that plays this just goes in and is like, dun, 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 dun. Do, 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 and they just leave. Man, some people, some people in the comments of the first video were like, "This." Guy, it was like the length of the game got half an hour shorter with each ensuing comment. It was like, "Oh, so this game's pretty expensive for six hours." Next comment. Oh uh, yeah, this video. I don't know about this game being only five and a half hours long. Um, I can't believe that this game is only five hours. As someone who completed this game in four and a half hours, it was like, okay, did you guys sprint through the thing or what? Okay. Here we go. So we got everything now. So now we can finally solve the puzzle and I can figure out what we're meant to do because I don't really get it. Right. So we can move it through walls like this, right? And the end goal is the same no matter what. There we go. That was really easy. <laughs> I'm a genius. What did I just do? I can't get out of this, by the way. Oh, oh no. Oh, did we kill it? Oh. There's red frosting everywhere. Hmm. Big mama. It only took me three hours. And I took my time. Yeah, sure you did, buddy. Aww. It's still moving around, though. So what happened? So I guess we moved up. I think we moved this whole... This whole area up. And it, it had grown into the ship, and so we took it with us.
I touched on it some just now, but... Ew, no. Okay. Is it too late to extract this thing? I mean, we got little tentacles coming out of our legs. Let's go. I touched on it just now, but I think some people are being way too harsh on this game. But I'll elaborate on that at the end. After I've played through the whole thing, you know? Want to make sure that we... get through the whole thing. Don't want to preemptively give any thoughts. Wow. Any, any final thoughts, rather. You can give thoughts, just not final thoughts. A nice peaceful little tram ride. another achievement. Achievement 8. Aptly named. Um... Am I interrupting something? Ma'am, the bathroom is that way? So that's where we came from. And I guess we'll just go up here now. Oh, what's that? An actual soundtrack? <laughs> Face plant. It's interesting, I think this game gets less Bixinski and more Giger as the game goes along. <laughs> now this guy's got a huge dong, look at that. Massive. It's three times the size of him. One time I had a guy friend bragging to me, he was just like, yeah, I use Magnum condoms, and I was like, you know, if you hadn't said anything, I might have just assumed that you did. But now that you've told me that, I know you don't. So, congrats. You played yourself. Nice, dude. Oh, wow. This is... <laughs> this, uh, uh, yeah. Demonetized. Actually, this is really cool. It's like a it's like a palace or something. This seems like this is like the most civilized structure we've been in. It's like some of the other ones were like, if I were to give them terms, it would be stuff like hatchery was that last one that was like the hatchery, and then the one before maybe like um. Actually, the one, the first building that we were in was more like the hatchery because I think one of the reasons why that egg guy that we get at the beginning, why he's stuck in the egg is because he was, he, he like grew up. He grew into an adult, but he was stuck in the egg because he was never taken out. So something happened to whatever civilization was here where their production line just stopped working. And so that's why he was up there, right? 
He was never because because there's the eggs are supposed to be like extracted as part of like an assembly line type of type of rotation that they have. But something happened and he was oh oh my god he was left up there I guess because everyone's dead right okay so these guys they look like they're being left up it's like they're being crucified or something and then there's this Oh, this is like a hive mind. Look at that. Is that what that is? Because look, it looks like brain matter that's connecting all of them. And it's connecting all of them right here. All of their minds are connected. And I've been getting kind of a hive mind feel so far. It seems like they kind of melded into one there. Wow, look, it, it stretches way out into there. Now, th this guy looks kind of like a surgeon, doesn't he? He's got tools in his hands. He's got a little saw like what we saw at the beginning. <laughs> no pun intended. Uh, he's got like a little scalpel there. Uh, there is a lot of sex happening here. <laughs> There's like straight up there's some there's some there's some fucking happening. <laughs> Interesting. Okay, so more of their minds are melding, right? It's just the same on this side. Now there's no way to get across there, right? Oh look at all this stuff down here. There's all sorts of stuff to interact with. I guess that's where we've got to go. We've got to go down there. Yeah? Oh, maybe we can go down on this side. Yeah, we can. Nice. Okay. Can we go down another? What is this? Man, our body's really changing, huh? Could go in here. It's like a track. Damn, this this looks so cool. All right. Okay. Can't interact with that yet. It is interesting too, like I mentioned. Uh, earlier in the game, it's like things are actively disintegrating into the air. It's like we're wit it's like we're witnessing our future <laughs> of everything that we've built slowly crumbling, right? What was that? Wait, I want to say that again. Oh, it doesn't change anything. Now they've got they've got a red belly. Look at that. Interestingly, that's exactly where the parasite keeps punching us. Okay, so we got like a canister of some kind. Now I can't go back up this way. That is a shame. I bet you we take the canister. Well, let's try it here. I don't know if, no, I thought maybe we could put it there. Now, this, this is a gate that opens. I wonder if it only opens whenever we put whatever in the backpack here. I, I don't think, okay, we didn't go this way. Let's go, I didn't go this way.
Oh, look, there's a bunch of these. They're all red. Hmm. It's very nice. So, I'm guessing from all the fucking and all the wombs and stuff is that this is where... Uh, yep, I think... <laughs> another case in point. This is where procreation happens. So maybe this is the hatchery. I want to name every building in this game the hatchery. Huh. I need this to open somehow. How does this open? There's something that we can put our hands in over there. Oh, this is where it goes, I bet. I forgot about this. Okay, put the canister in. Nice. Okay. That one's blocked off. I can I can take that. Wow. Um What is going on, man? Okay. These are, okay, so here's all the uh, failed experiments. They tried to make this thing over and over again and they failed and that's what that pile of bodies is. There's also, they also dismembered the body. Interestingly, I wonder why. Is it, does it have Ew. Ew, look at that thing. Did I put this in here? Were they trying to make like incubators for these things? And that's what this thing is, like, it doesn't exist except to be... Look! They... Whoa! In order to make room for this on the front of them, they moved their digestive tract to the back. Ugh. How about this? Get ready. Oh my god. Oh my god. Um. Wow. Uh. Holy shit. Okay, thankfully there's another one. Let's get, um. Oh, I think I'm actually... Oh, I'm actually full. Now, here's the question. Was this thing... trying to move the body? Like, was it trying to pilot it? But then... But it, it, it doesn't have any limbs on purpose. I don't know. Yeah, it kind of reminds me of, like, uh, Krang from... Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Okay, so we have another one that we can put this in though. Do I put it here? No. I've got to get to that to that other body. That's what we're trying to take it to. Oh. Uh Wait, what am I doing with this? Where do I put this? I don't want to hold it anymore. Here? Oh my god, what?
Okay, so we picked up one of these energy canisters, right? And it's clearly used for power. So I guess now we know why they were so interested in um, propagating. Uh, it was to create energy, right? Because that's what it's being used here for. It's like a little battery. Okay, so now we've got full juice. I'm wondering if we put full juice here now, if something changes. What is it? It, the body's moving now, or it wasn't before. Okay, so I guess we gotta do another one with this one. Oh, we don't have any juice. Oh, so we've gotta crush another alien baby. Oh my gosh. Very visceral. Does it have to be so visceral? Oh, but wait. We don't have any. Oh, it doesn't matter. It can be empty. Wow, okay, so... I guess we'll just go... I guess we'll just go do that again. We just do the same thing? Weird. Oh. I feel a little less bad about it now. Oh, see, this thing has limbs. What the hell? Oh my god. Um. Oh! Okay. Do you have to hit the- do you have to hit him in the back? I think we have to hit it in the back. Hmm. It's like when it's reloading, it, it brings the things out. So I guess we'll just have to wait. Yeesh. We want to attack. Ow. What was it doing before? See, like, here we go. Okay. Okay, I just got one side of it. Okay, I got the- I gotta get the other side now. Hmm. Nice. Come on, do it again. more so they're making war machines they're not just making energy either they're making war machines Exposed. Or what's it doing? Oh, 
Oh. What is this thing? Oh, is it a new gun? Oh, it's like near. Evil Krang. Okay. You know, Parasite, I could use some help right now. It's your life on the line, too. Okay. So we just gotta wait until it's vulnerable somehow. Oh my god. Oh. Did I get him? Can I poke him while he does this? Oh no. I'm not really sure on the ow on the timing. Ow. You got lucky. You lucky bitch! You lucky motherfucker! Ow! Oh my god. Okay, maybe I should have, I just, I shot, I shot its limbs a couple times and it didn't seem like it did anything. So I didn't want to waste ammo. See, okay, so now it's out of ammo, right? Well, now it reloads. Well, what the fuck? See, okay, it was open there, but it was just... I dodged it too good, I guess. Ow! For fuck's sake, I hate that shit. What the fuck? Okay. Okay, so we got it. Jeez. Uh. Look at how much you got back there. God, okay. That took forever. Probably the worst part of the game. <laughs> cool, cool new gun though. So I got a grenade launcher now? Hell yeah. I don't feel sorry for you anymore, by the way. It's like as soon as that thing got in there, it was just like, kill, kill, kill. It's like the first phase of the boss was good. The second phase was not. I, I liked the first phase a lot. The first phase was really cool. Second phase, not so much. Okay, so that's only half the cancer. We gotta get the last one. Oh my god. Yeah, I know. Wow. The parasites are really... Oh, wait, I... Wait, can I not change? I can't change from the grenade launcher now. That makes sense. Gam, gam, walk away, walk away. Okay.
I have like no health left. Ugh. Oh my god. It sucks dying in one hit because your health is so low because the first fight took forever. Basically you have to just not get hit at all, forehead. have three shots. Okay, yeah, he's getting it, so I'm going to get it too. Did that even hit him? something. You okay? Because I don't think I'm actually doing any damage. Come on. That's all it took. Just one hit. Oh, okay. All right. Well, let's go ahead and just get this over with. Oof. Jeez. All right. Let's go. All this to get the second canister of goo. And I'm not really even sure what we want this for. Well. Jeez, we are uh, we are turning into the fucking parasite. Crazy. 
All right, let's go put our canister up. And then I'm not really sure what we do. Wait, did I not get the canister? No, I did get it. But I can't put it in there because of my hands. Oh. Okay. Um, well, then we're going to take a little detour. I think. Ooh, is it over here? Yeah, here we go. Yeah, good. Take that. Okay, my hand's free again. Okay, so we just don't use the hand machine, right? Okay, so wait, wait. I like how I like how it had the the thing out. Wait, was the parasite holding it? Hang on. Very helpful, Parasite. Thank you. Why don't we just use your hand? But then, but then, like, it's like, er, never mind. Okay, so, so we don't, we don't use the hand thing. What about, what about this? Oh, we can't, we can't interact with this. Because it kind of seems like we could put a little, a little, mean alien baby in there maybe there's something that we use the grenade launcher on that's a pressure plate right there right we have the grenade launcher last time we found a pressure plate we used the grenade launcher so i just never stopped on this so why we do this Okay. Oh. Five, huh? Oh, it's this. Of course, I can't use this right now. Oh, health station? Not that I can use it. Parasite's really harsh in our vibe. Need to get rid of it. Is it this thing? Then it grows back. Okay. It took longer that time, though. Then we do it, and then we run. And then we run. And we do it again. Seems impossible. 
Maybe, okay, here's what we do. Here's what we do. We take this one. The only thing that we can do with this one is get over to this other thing. Right? So. Oh, you don't have enough time to get over there. What the fuck? Oh, this is level four door. I thought it was a five. Because the other one was a five. Oh, wait, but I can't. Oh, I have to. Okay, I got it. So what? What now? Oh. <laughs> oh, so that's just ammo. Okay, I got it. Okay, so. Wait, what? Oh, okay. Oh my god, it's like trying to make a left turn without a protected green arrow. Oh, now you all stop moving. Interesting. But I can't do this with. <laughs> uh, okay. All right. Okay. Now I can open the little five door, so... You don't have to look at your hand every time. You're wasting precious, valuable time. Is it time to get operated on? I'm excited. Oh, nice. Okay. Operate on me. Get this thing out of me, please. <laughs> oh, what? Okay. So... Right. Well, I'm not going to be able to get here fast enough. You can't make it. Nice. Just barely. Oh my god. Oh. What? So this is our body. Oh my god. Oh, hey. 
Oh. Okay. Well, this is confirmed then. The parasite is the character that we play as as the at the beginning of the game. Because that's the same face that's on the menu screen. Look, there he is. He just wants to hang out. Can I get you? Did I get pulled off? Oh my gosh. How did that happen? Kind of crazy. I saw some people in the first video theorize. Oh my God, I'm completely wide open. Uh, I saw some people in the first video theorize that the parasite was our first character, but there's not really, there's not really any like hard evidence until that's just now really, in my opinion. I know that you get the pokey gun and stuff, but it's probably more than one pokey gun in this place, considering how many times you have to use it as a key. Um, oh, okay, I guess we have to go the long way. Starting here. The gun's only a massive indicator if there's only one. Which I don't know why there would be. Time for the walk of shame. You okay? Can, am I allowed to keep walking? This kind of feels like it's coming to an end soon. Oh, you're not gonna let me walk over the corpse. All right, fine then. Walk by Big Dick McGee over here. Yeah, yeah, quit whining. Let's get out of here. Come on, keep walking. Now, why are we powering this stuff up? Does anyone know? Why is it so important for us to do this? Another achievement. Oh, right. Of course, it would. It would do that. Okay, so I got both of them. Uh. I see. So is this the hive mind then? Okay, I'm getting lobotomized. 
I don't think that this has anything to do with these injuries. Oh, wow. Goodbye, Skullcap. Don't take my brain out. Are you linking me to the hive mind? You are. Oh. I got an achievement. 11. Now I'm one of the bodies on the... Or wait. Oh, okay, I see. Okay, so now I'm playing as a third character. Yeah, switch. Wait, how do you switch? Oh my god. Oh my god. That's my character. Look, I don't have a mouth. I have no mouth and I must scream. That, okay. <laughs> I thought that was going to go in a different direction. Um... Oh my. Do we take you this way? Or do we place you... No. Maybe we take you this way. I don't know, apparently we're operating on you right now. Look at these guys. They've got blades as, as their hand. You want to do this? You can't do that. Okay, I guess maybe we take him to the operating table. AKA where I was lying down. Oh wait, look! The other one's up too. Space. Oh, okay. Well, that doesn't make any sense. Well, look at you. <laughs> okay, I guess I'll go do this thing then. Okay. Oh, 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 oh. Here we go. Now I can do this. Okay. You're just randomly stabbing him. You know that. You know that you're not doing surgery right now. You're just randomly stabbing him. You're stabbing the same part over and over again, I might add. Wow. Look, they got a they got a face in the back of their head. Next stop, Valhalla.
There's the parasite. That's a shame. Oh, do we meld into one? Oh, now we're just a weird f blob. We're literally the thing at the end of I have no mouth and must scream. <laughs> This was a Resident Evil game. This thing would be monologuing about how it's become a god now. I've achieved absolute power. interesting kind of an anticlimactic ending yeah i think the game kind of got weaker towards the end and uh it's a bizarre ending but i kind of like it i think overall i really enjoyed the game actually i did get frustrated with the boss fight that was uh not great really phase two of the first one was kind of not awesome but yeah I think overall it was it was really good though. Like um I know reception has been mixed. But uh I don't know. I have a couple of uh perspectives on that. Uh number 1 is this is first and foremost a body horror game uh which of which there are none that I can think of. <laughs> like I I can't think of a of a game that's like as pure body horror as Scorn, which is one reason why I was so excited for it. But like there's no there's no other game that's this into that. So and, and like with body horror you kinda have to go all out like this, you know, like the thing or society or something, right? Uh and this one went balls to the wall with it. And yeah, I can see how that would not be everyone's cup of tea but it is a horror game and i know some people are like oh it's just gross it's not scary therefore it's not horror but like horror doesn't have to be scary i don't have to sit here shaking in my boots for something to be horror it can just fit the aesthetic and that's what this did what is with the people calling this a walking simulator what is that about like I'm not saying that uh, the game is beyond criticism or anything, because I have some. I have some criticisms. But calling it a walking simulator, it's like, tell me that you didn't get past the first hour of the game without telling me you didn't get past the first hour of the game. Because first hour of the game is just walking around, absorbing the atmosphere, you know, trying to figure out where the fuck to go, what the fuck to do. But then you start getting into the puzzles, and then in the second to third hour you start getting into more of the combat and then interestingly the middle of the game is the most combat intensive and then towards the end there's like hardly any combat at all besides the boss fight 
I, first of all, I hate the term walking simulator. I absolutely hate it. There's like five walking simulators that exist. There's like Dear Esther and Gone Home and like three other games, and that's it. But instead, people just, they, they basically just like, Take, they take that label and they just plaster it on anything that isn't mile a minute adrenaline action game and they, they just write off anything else is like that's not real gameplay puzzles that's not real gameplay dialogue choices that's not real gameplay right and it's like no that's all gameplay if a game has puzzles in it it's a puzzle game unless it has other aspects because I saw somebody called I saw somebody called this a walking simulator with puzzles and I'm like so a puzzle game is what you're describing it just drives me nuts. I feel like it's such a lazy label to throw on things. Oh, you walk a lot in the game, therefore it's a walking simulator. I also think like some of the best games I've played have been walking simulators. They aren't actually like Edith Finch, I would say is a great game. That's not a walking simulator because it has gameplay to it. It has things that you, that you click on and interact with. Walking simulators, you literally just walk around. Maybe read a note or something. Uh, so yeah, I just, first of all, I just hate that. And second of all, it's not a walking simulator. There's a boss fight, there's combat, there's three different guns, not a walking simulator. But I kind of gave up on that because I gave up, kind of gave up on like beating that drum when I saw some, I was playing Evil Within 2 and one of the comments called it basically a walking simulator on like part five because you stealth a lot in the game in the early segments. And I was like, okay. Like, I can't take that criticism seriously anymore. I just can't. And here I am ranting about it. So I, after I was like, I've seen it all. I've seen it all. If the Evil Within 2 is a walking simulator, the label officially means absolutely nothing. Not that it ever did in the first place. So yeah, this game's not a walking simulator. And even if it were, it's not necessarily a bad thing. Yeah, so there's gameplay. It's just a unique mixture of gameplay. It's very puzzle-focused in the first half. And then... It veers off like the next third of the game is very combat focused. Almost to a fault. Probably my least favorite part of the game is like that area like ending in the boss fight and starting with like the little chicken things that show up. It's like it wasn't bad, but it was kind of just not the game's strength. It's, it's meant to be kind of awkward, which people supposedly want. Everybody is talking about like, oh, survival horror. Oh, I wish we could go back to the days of Resident Evil when ammo was limited and when you had to choose whether you wanted to fight something or not. Sometimes it was smarter just to run. I like to go back to the days of Silent Hill. He's not an army man. He's not a warrior. Therefore, combat is kind of clunky. When James th like throws down the pipe on an enemy, he does so awkwardly. That's kind of it's like well this is that's what that's what the combat and scorn is like, it's awkward and clunky and kind of slow. It's not bad. It's just different from what you're used to with modern games, like Doom, where you're which Doom is an amazing game, but you know where you're just running around shooting the shit out of stuff, parkouring and like you got a dash that you can do in midair and shit. This one's much more slow paced. I don't really like that too much as a criticism either. I think overall this game is really unique. And I kind of wish that I didn't see so many harsh reactions to it. Because don't we, just in general, in gaming, aren't we always clamoring for something different? Every, everywhere I turn, everybody's like, it's the same AAA games every year. What, what, what? Okay, well, this is like a big name game that came out that's very, very different from everything else on the market. And it's like, all of a sudden, people are like, well, why isn't there more combat? Why is, why is there so many puzzles? Why is there so much walking around? It's like, it's, well, it's a, it's a different kind of experience. I thought that's what we want. It's a very unique game. I can't think of another game that's like this. Maybe something different isn't actually what you want. Just something to think about. So yeah, overall, um, I had a great time with it, though. I know some people didn't like uh, that there's quote no story um but i kind of like that about it it made the world feel a lot more alien when you're just like dropped into it a la mist which i think has a lot of uh i think there's a lot of good comparisons you can make with this game in mist um obviously mist was made you know what, what 25 years ago or something 
and it's it's obviously not going to be the same it's not going to be a one to one comparison like everyone loves to make uh but i think there's very interesting similarities in the focus on puzzles and in just dropping you into the world and allowing you to explore at your own pace and being like what is all this what does this do it's got kind of that sort of sense of wonder to it that you would actually have if you were literally dropped on an alien planet things wouldn't be explained to you you wouldn't have shit coming up on your screen like waypoints and maps and well why don't you go talk to the npc over there and find out what to do next you wouldn't have notes to read right it's just like it really feels like they just created a world that they just threw you into and i like that because a lot of games a lot of games most games go way out of their way to make sure like are you keeping up with us it's time to go over there now in this game i mean they just you're just thrown into a world that doesn't give a shit about you nobody's interested in telling you what's going on it's just like it would be if you were tossed into an alien world like that. So I liked that about it. I thought that was really unique and something I haven't really seen in other games that it, it, was, it wasn't it was really treating itself like a game a lot of the time, which did turn out, I thought, to be a bit of a weakness in some spots because... There were a lot of spots that I went to in the game where I was like, what's over here? Nothing. And that, on one hand, added to the sense of wonder and the immersion and feeling like I'm really part of an alien world that, you know, is inhospitable and they just, there's going to be dead ends. There's going to be shit where there's nothing or that parts that are like totally destroyed, waste of time to go to. And then, on the other hand, it would have been better, I think, for a video game to have more rewarding path exploration off to the side. Because unless you were on uh, the linear path of progression, there wasn't really anything worth veering off for. And, you know, that's kind of a double-edged sword. I, on one hand, I kind of like it. On another hand... It probably would have been better gameplay. Like, the, I, I think as far as the experience goes, I liked it. But as far as the gameplay goes, I didn't like it, if that makes sense. As far as just, like, experiencing the visual, auditory aesthetic of everything, I liked it. But as a person playing the game, could have used more, you know rewarding exploration. I'm not saying there needed to be collectibles everywhere, like, oh, an audio log, you know, but just something interesting um there were some things in the game that they didn't use more than once i noticed uh like like the scooper and the saw thing and at the beginning um and they could have just had like little doodads for you to interact with that didn't really do anything for the story they could have just been there you know Something for you to just like stick your hands into and, and move around and be like, huh, that's weird, and then and then move on. It doesn't have to be a puzzle or anything like productive. It could have just been like, look at this weird thing over here. I would have been fine with that. So some disappointing things mixed in there with, with all of the, the praise that they have for it. Uh, but overall, I mean, it's a really unique, interesting game, and it kind of gave me what I wanted out of it. I know everyone had different expectations, apparently going into this but all i kind of wanted was like an a, an unnerving body horror atmospheric alien world experience where you kind of just walked around and you were like what's that that's weird i'm gonna turn this knob eh -eh. whoa you know type of thing and i think some people wanted a more traditional experience out of this but i'm very glad it wasn't traditional because i've played tons of traditional games in fact my my list of games that i need to play like horizon zero dawn forbidden west and all those you know all those type of games 
It's like a laundry list of games that are going to be extremely traditional. And I know that the reason I haven't played them is because I know when I play them, I'm going to be like, when somebody asks me, how's it going? I'll be like, it's okay. But with this, it was, it was, you know, when somebody asks me like, what do you think of scoring? I'll be like, well, I got a lot of things to say about it. Actually, it's a game that you can have opinions on, which I think is, is good. As far as the ending goes, well, I think some people are confused about the story, but I kind of like that. I kind of, there, there's too many things out there that just tell me exactly what the story was straight to my face. And I would actually prefer to just kind of sit and think about it. And maybe two weeks from now, I'll be like, oh, you know what? There's something, I was just thinking about Scorn and, you know, regarding the ending, there was this thing that I didn't think about at the time. Or maybe I'll replay it. I don't think I'll replay it. But maybe I'll replay it and I'll be something that I didn't notice before. So I, I would rather have a thinker of a game where you just kind of can sit with it and, and ponder than, than a game where they just kind of spoon feed you everything. Uh, one other thing I wanted to mention was that in my first YouTube video, I the, the title was Indie Horror Game of the Year? With a question mark at the end. And I got a lot of comments that were just like, no. No way. No way, game of the year. No way. No. Oh. Um, first of all, I never called it game of the year. Okay. Second of all, I wasn't asking if it was game of the year. I was asking if it was indie horror game of the year. Um, interestingly, all the comments that uh, were horrified that I would suggest a thing didn't offer any examples or any alternatives for what could be horror game of the year, um, indie horror game of the year for 2022. Not a single one. No one said anything, which I thought was very interesting. If you ask me what indie horror game of the year for 2022 is, I don't know. We still got uh, a fair bit of the year to go, so it remains to be seen. Is this horror, indie horror game of the year? I don't know, but I would say it's top five for me. Everyone's got a different uh, top list, but for me, it's near the top. I had a good time with it. Is it an experience I'm going to treasure forever, and am I going to replay it over and over again to get my money's worth? Because a lot of the a lot of the criticism about the game too is that it's short, but I think it was just the right length. I would not have wanted to wander around in this for another 10 hours. I would have grown to hate it. If this game was like a 16 hour game, I would have I would have absolutely grown to hate it. Um, it looks like I beat it in about six hours, which I have no idea who these people are that beat it in three and a half hours. They just like sprint through the entire thing, not looking around at anything or soaking anything in. Um, if so, that might explain why they didn't have a good time. Yeah, I think six hours is kind of the perfect length for horror games, honestly. This happens anytime there's a horror game that comes out, though. Every every horror game is called too short. Resident Evil Village was called too short. Resident Evil 7 was called too short. Resident Evil 2 Remake was called too short. Resident Evil 3 Remake was called too short. That one, they might have a point, though. It, my point is, any any horror game that comes out, the first thing I hear whenever like mainstream gamers get a hold of it is they're like, it's so short. It's like, yeah, horror games are short. The, the greatest horror games of all time are short. With the exceptions of games like Resident Evil 4, which are like 20 hours long, you know, they're all pretty short because horror works best in uh, shorter time formats. And this is a horror game, like I said before. So, I don't know. I don't have a problem with the length at all. I would much rather have a tightly packed six hours than a trudging, droning 16. Absolutely no way do I want that. So yeah, um, I'm trying to think of anything else I have to say about Scorn. Because I have been waiting for this game for like you know, five or six years. I did kickstart it, um, you know, and uh, it's, for the most part, satisfying to me. Uh, it wasn't perfect. I wouldn't even say it was like an S-tier game or anything, if I were to make a tier list, but I think there's a good argument to be made that it was an A or B tier game. And just, just for like, 
how unique it is. I really like that. I think we need more games that differentiate themselves, and I think this one successfully did it. And and it and it's proof in that and how divisive it was, uh, or is. It is very divisive. Some people love this game, some people fucking hate it. And I think uh, anytime that happens, you know, you could look at it as, as a game that gets a mixed reception, or you could look at it as a game that did something right. It did something right that, like, people are talking about it and having really strong opinions. All right, well, that's about it for my playthrough of Scorn. Hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, feel free to let me know what you think in the comments. And I'll see you in the next video. Think critically.